Dear friends and fans in Nashville, it is with heartfelt sadness and disappointment that I write to you today from my sick bed. This is Hank Williams Jr. speaking on behalf of Jerry Lee Lewis, who was too sick to be there for his own reception into the Country Music Hall of Fame on Sunday. Tried everything I could to build up the strength to come today. My sincerest apology to all of you for missing this fine event, but I hope to see you all soon. Hank wasn't just there to read a note from a man they called the killer, however. Come on, you know Hank, he doesn't stick to the script. When you got Jerry Lee Lewis coming to your house, teaching you how to play like that. What are you gonna say, no, I'm not going down there? No, probably not. I'm Billy Dukes and Hank did read some prepared notes in Jerry's full letter to everyone who gathered to see him, Joe Galante and Keith Whitley get their moment. I wanna ask now for a few prayers for Jerry Lee in the comment section below. We don't know how ill he really is, but we do know that he really wanted to be there. So it has to be serious enough to prevent that. Of course, Hank had a few stories, and y'all, if you love Hank Jr., you're going to love what's to come. Our subscribers already know that Hank chose Taste of Country as one of a handful of outlets to talk to before his last album release. Find that link in the corner, and please give a thumbs up if you approve of Hank Jr. being chosen to induct Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee would tell me my father was one of his heroes, and if he couldn't meet his hero, he would meet his son and show him how to Boogie woogie. <laughs> like Hank, before he was formally inducted a year ago, everyone kind of assumed that Jerry Lee was inducted a long, long time ago. He's now just one of 14 artists to be in both the Rock and Roll and Country Music Halls of Fame. There to sing his songs was Leanne Womack, the McCreary Sisters, and Chris Isaac. You shed my nerve and you ran my brain. Too much love got my man insane. You broke my will. What a thrill. There was one more huge surprise at the very end that I'll get to, but more from what Hank had to say, this is my favorite part. Jerry Lee doesn't walk on stage and politely thank an audience for being there. No. Yeah, Jerry Lee doesn't ask for your attention. He demands it. He doesn't take the stage. He commands it. Sounds familiar. Jerry Lee doesn't play songs, he owns songs. Yep, I think they picked the right guy to induct a man with as much gusto as Jerry Lee. He never plays the same way twice. <laughs> he go play it the way he feels it. Boy, this really is familiar. At that very moment, Jerry Lee also taught me not to bow down to anyone. He knew he was the best, the very best. The Hall of Fame didn't skip over Jerry's numerous personal troubles and missteps during this ceremony, but they didn't dwell on them either. They pointed out how his marriage to his 13-year-old cousin damaged his career, and those in attendance knew that he wasn't necessarily the easiest to work with. Jerry once told The Guardian that, quote, I worry about whether I'm going to heaven or hell, and all the things he did that might get him a ticket to hell were expunged from this night. Still, the Hall and Hank Jr. looked past that to welcome him into the Hall of Fame. Chris Christofferson also looked beyond that. The songwriting legend never makes public appearances, but he did on this night. Of course, that too was by request of Jerry. I'll step away now and let Hank read the rest of Jerry's letter to his fans and those who helped him get there. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing. To be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, is the highest honor in country music. Through over 60 years singing music professionally, country has always been the genre where I felt the most at home. Between my fellow artists, radio and the industry players, I'm honored to be going into that Hall of Fame rotunda with some of my heroes, Hank Williams Sr., Jimmy Rogers, and the like. Not to mention so many amazing friends who have been so good to me through the years. Thank you all for your support and love and electing me into the Country Music Hall of Fame. And most of all, thanks to God for allowing me to experience this honor while I'm still here. <laughs>